Ó, é o bicho, hein? Go na na na, 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 go na na na. Hello. So because of coronavirus, you can't come and do an actual open day. So instead, we're going to do a virtual tour of college. So welcome to St. Aidan's. Get sanitized. So, first things first, this is the Porter's Lodge or Plodge. This is where you come to pick up parcels if you get locked out of your room, if you need a new key, anything that you need, the Porter's will sort you out. So, our library is 24 7 and you can come here to do work <laughs> in the day. There's loads of space to work, there's loads of computers around the outside and books that you can run. Right now, we're in the JCR. This is normally the heart and soul of college, but because of coronavirus, we have to take all the stuff away because of social distancing. But normally, we've got some pool tables, we've got table tennis, there's normally like people around. This is where you come just like hang out in the evening. We've got a TV with like a PlayStation and a Wii, so if you want to play like FIFA or Mario Kart with your friends, you can always do that. And we've also got a shop where you can get a job. They sell toasties, drinks, snacks, stuff like that and it's a really good facility to have. This is our dining hall, we're currently locked out, but Aidens is a fully catered college, which means that when you're in college, including your accommodation fields, you get three meals a day uh, throughout the year, that's breakfast, lunch and dinner. Every meal has two meat eating options and two vegetarian options, and they'll also cater for any other requirements you have, so you'll never be stuck with something to eat. Our bar's through there as well, so we can't get in. <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> the laundry room, and it's like, it's pretty boring, there's not much to say here. Uh, the laundry machines add their own detergent, so you don't need to bring like any liquid or tabs or stuff like that with you. So that's uh, pretty convenient. So in Aidens we have three types of rooms, single, shared and ensuite, and right now we're going to go to look at a single room. Every single room has the same facilities, you get a bed, you get a desk, shelves, a cupboard and everyone gets their own sink as well, which is pretty nice. And also underneath the bed there's an extra storage space so you can keep like suitcases and stuff there so it doesn't clog up your room. Also, you have a beautiful view of the Aiden's Green, which is pretty nice. The rooms get cleaned once every two weeks by cleaning staff who will come and like hoover and like wipe down your desks. They'll never be invasive and they'll never like move your stuff, they'll just kind of like clean around the mess. And they'll also take your bin out every other day. So now we're going to have a look at a shared room. So a shared room has all the same facilities as a single room, except there's two of everything. Two beds, two desks, two cupboards, but there's also going to be two people. That's a bit of a weird concept, most universities, yeah, universities don't really have that anymore, but we still do. Um, basically what will happen is at the start of the year you'll fill in a form and then you'll put in like a preference as like if you want a single shared or ensuite room and if you get assigned a shared room then you'll fill in stuff about your hobbies, what your personality is like, what kind of time you wake up and go to bed and they'll try and match you with someone that's very similar to you and most of the time this works really well and most people get along really well with their roommates. Loads of storage space, both overhead and underneath the bed, so you don't need to worry about where you can put your suitcase or boxes or anything like that. So you'll share a bathroom with about eight people. All the bathrooms are single genders, and each of them has two showers, two sinks, and two toilets. 
Um, you never really have to queue to use a uh, shower or anything because people shower at different times of the day and there's two between eight people, which isn't really that bad a ratio. Even though we're at the top of the hill, we still get very good water pressure, arguably the best in Durham. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Even though St. Aidan's is fully catered, we also have student kitchens that you can use. So every kitchen has a sink, kettle, microwave, and toaster. And even though all your meals are already provided for you, just if you want to make yourself a bit of extra, like a pot noodle, or like some pasta in the evenings, then you do have these as well. And they're also nice just like use as a social space. Fridge space. Um, so if you want to keep anything cool or frozen, you just like pop your name on it, pop it in, and then it'll be there when you want it. Someone has left a blanky takeaway. <laughs> That's not ideal. But my like, student kitchen is always going to be a bit messy, so this is just like a very realistic tour. So up here we've got our JCR welfare room. This is a student run organisation where every day of the week there'll be someone in here for an hour. You can come and chat to them if you're feeling anxious, homesick, nervous, anything like that. Any problem, big or small, they can help you take care of. Also on the door, there's condoms, tampons and pregnancy kits. In case you're in an emergency, you can come and get those anonymously. So on this side, you can kind of see our dining hall from above, even though we can go inside. And obviously it's got like tables and chairs. We don't eat on the floor, I promise. And then on this side, you can kind of see all of the Aiden's lines. We've got like a nice big lawn, we've got like a football court over there, and we've got a pond as well. So now we're just going to have a quick look at the college gym. So the gym costs £35 to use for a year. It's got pretty much everything that you'd expect from a gym. It's got loads of cardio machines, exercise bikes, it's got weights, like squat rack, bench station, and it's also got a little bit of just like a weights area over there. So for £35 a year, you really can't go wrong, can you? So now we've got the music room to show you as well. This is just like a space you can come to rent out um, for free, any time of the day really. And it just means that you don't have to like annoy your neighbours by like playing the flute at like 2am or anything. Because uh, people would hate you. But yeah, it's got like uh, guitars, it's got a piano, drums, stuff like that. So you don't need to bring your own instruments either. So we can't go into our actual bar, but right now we're in the beer garden. And the bar, you can get a job there. Um, that's pretty easy to do if you're trying to make like a bit of extra money on your degree. It's like ran by students for students, so it's really flexible. Um, they also, they host like mocktail and cocktail nights, which are both pretty fun, as well as hosting any like big sports games, Love Island, any other big TV shows that will all be on in the bar. So up here we've got Contemplation Bench, which is a, a place a lot of Ain students come to just like sit, think about life while enjoying arguably the best view of the city Durham has to offer. So up here we've got our multi-sports area, which you can book out any time of the year if you just want a quick kick about. Here we've got our Aidan's lawn, which is around for the whole year. It's like pretty nice to just like chill in the summer, get a bit of sunbathing in, just hang around, maybe have a bit of a kick about on the grass. And lastly, we've got our Aidan's pond. This has like some cute ducks in, it's a pretty nice feature. And uh, yeah, it's got cute ducks. They come and like waddle around on the grass when you're studying, which is really cute. And uh, I think that's all we've got to show you. So, uh, bye!
Parkour! <laughs> Thank you.